So the thing is that I had an audio that I recorded um, while I was filming that thing because it was like a small little blog thing, but the audio did not work and I didn't know what was happening. Uh, but then I found out like right now that um, the audio jack, I didn't really push it in all the way. So now I found out that it works now. So that's great because I'm not going to spend money on a new mic. And of course, I know I look different, but you know what? Every single day I look different, okay? I think that's what makes it cool. Okay, okay so on this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about how I made this. I just can look at that. It looks really metallic, stuff like that. Here's the thing. You First off, you're probably wondering, what is this, okay? Um, that's the one thing, because I show you this, and you guys don't know what it is. Um, look, you know Iron Man, right? Iron Man, the suit, okay, the armor, whatever. Every single um, piece of the Iron Man suit is all divided in each individual pieces. This piece is basically the piece of, not from Iron Man. Iron Man is just an example, okay? Don't think that this is like from Iron Man, no. This is just an example. Iron Man has this uh, piece that is in his stomach that he, that has that piece. This is somewhat similar to that. Now, this is supposed to go like right here and it's supposed to be a piece right here and then it comes out another piece on top of here and then it comes out another piece on this side and also on this side and you know you get the whole deal and what I think is that when it comes to armor I always recommend if you're gonna make an armor make it piece by piece and make sure that each piece you can put it in because if you don't do that then um then what's gonna happen is that your uh, your armor is either it's gonna be hard to walk around with and stuff like that, or there's a chance that it could get destroyed or break because of your movements and stuff like that. So this is basically the smaller piece that goes inside there and then comes out the other one. I will do the other parts of the armor, but it's not gonna be like Iron Man. Iron Man was just an example. Also this, you can use it for different things. Um, you can get this, uh, you can use it as a, uh, let me just uh, go back a little bit so you guys can see. You can use this, for like right here, and then get another, put it right here, you can make this uh, sort of like a samurai thing, you know, armor stuff. Or you can use this to put it right here, that looks pretty cool. Or you can just use it for, you can use it backwards, so like this, like a Wonder Woman thing, and you can see that. So that's essentially what this thing is. Okay, now um, I am planning on making something in the back so I can be able to have it and make sure it sticks. So there's that. But I'm gonna show you guys how I make this. Now here's the thing, this I did not spend no much. I did not spend a lot of money on it. Some of the things I already had and stuff like that. Now you do need to understand that this is made out of cardboard. So if you guys can see a little bit, you think you guys can see a little bit of the cardboard effect thing. Um, so yeah. So that's what it was made out of. Here's the thing. You can use floor mats, those uh, square floor mats that you use on the floor. You usually see them for garages, stuff like that. A lot of people use those to make, um, what's it called? Uh, to make Mass Effect armor and stuff like that, like Shepard and stuff like that, like a female version or male version or something, I don't know. There's a lot of them online, which that's what they use. If you want to look into that, you can use that, okay? To me, I use cardboard because I, that's what I had at my disposal and that's what I decided to use. Um, I don't know why. Whatever. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. The first thing you need to do is get yourself a foam or a cardboard. If you want to use cardboard, that's fine. I use cardboard. And make sure you use a you draw a shape that looks like this. This is like an uh it looks like a uh, like a curved mountain or like a underwear or something like that. Here's the thing, you don't really need to make the exact same thing. You can make whatever you want. Uh you can make it look like an arch or you can make it rounded like that to make it look like there's uh, uh, like a scale or something like that. If you want to do like Little Mermaid or something like that, you can do like scales and just push each individual like that. I don't know what you want to do with it, but uh, you be creative, okay? Um, you can also make it like a sci-fi armor where you can get block like that and go like blocks. 
that could be pretty cool. Um, so you can do it like that. So what I did is that I cut out, uh, all of these are, set, are six pieces, so I cut all of them, and all of them are the same. So just to get that, you know, not like one is big, no, no, all of them are the same. And um, because if I would have done this one like small and this one more bigger, then this part in the back, it would have been like more thicker. And I don't want that because it's going to be harder to, you know, be this thing be flexible or something like that. So that's what I did. So I cut up all of them, okay. Then I grabbed a glue gun, which I don't have it with me right now. And I glue them all individual. Like I glued from right here all the way over here. And then right here, I kind of make like an upside down triangle. And then I just glue them like that. And then I glue all of them in to make sure it stayed. Also on the back, uh, you kind of see in the back how it looks like. I know it's cardboard and stuff, but it doesn't look that great. But I am planning on putting tape just to secure it a little bit more. But glue, uh, you can use any glue that you want. It doesn't really need to be a glue gun. To me, I use a glue gun because I like using it. And also, it seems to work really well. So that's why I did. And after that, I use, um, after it got dried, I used this, and then I used this product called Plastic. Essentially what Plastic is, is this, it's kind of like, it's similar to a spray can, but at the same time it's not. It shoots out this sort of a rubbery, plasticky thing. Um, a lot of people use this for cars. Basically, if you have a car and there's a part of it, like a small little part of it that you want to paint, but you're not really 100% sure if you, that's the color that you want, you use this plastic dip and it'll be right there. It'll, you're able to look at it. The thing is that this one, you could peel it off really quickly. You can peel it off with your hands, stuff like that. It's uh, really easy. It's just a rubbery thing. It This works really great when it comes to props. When you have an armor and you have like, you glue it in two pieces together and you have like the seam thing, this could really work on it, could really work for that. It will smooth it out. So what I did is that I put some, I, I, I put it here, I put one light coat, and then I put a second strong coat in it, wait until it dry, and after that, I put a primer on it, and yeah, just put a little primer on it. Then after that, I started painting it, which I use these two colors right here. I use black, and I also use this silver, and I use this uh, paintbrush right here, because these ones are pretty damn cheap, and that's what I use. Here's a clip of me painting them. I also use a cloth when it came to the black because the black, you know, when you use a cloth and stuff like that, that's, I don't know, it looks really cool. It looks really worn out, and that's the effect I was trying to go with. And then after that, I used, uh, uh, I started out with this, which it was the uh, silver, and then I went a little bit with the black, and then I went a little bit with this part, um, with the silver, and basically uh, blended them in. Okay, and then, th and then the reason why I use those cheap uh, paints and brushes because, let me explain to you guys, okay? Then after that, I use this product called Mosh Pot. This is how it looks like, it's orange. It's, there's, there's a lot of version of Mosh Pot, but I think the good ones are the matte one and this glossy one. I like to use this glossy one. I use that brush and I paint the whole thing. When it comes out, it kind of looks like glue, which is understandable, but don't worry about it. Just paint the whole thing with it. Wait until it gets dry, it goes clear, it has this glossy finish, and you ended up with this sort of a glossy feel. I don't know if you can see that a little bit. I don't know if you can see that little glossy thing. It looks really damn good, and that's how I ended up making this. Um, so yeah, so that's how I ended up making it. Um, I just decided just to make a video, because I haven't made a video in a while, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to show you guys how I made this. This looks really damn cool. Um, I'm going to make more videos. Uh, yeah. So I hope you guys like this video, and sorry if the, me explaining these things wasn't that great. I tried. Yeah. See you guys in my next video. Bye.